So I'm going to I'm going to finish this smooth, and I'm going to put the blade on it, and I'll pass this around. To say that's all there is to it, but that's that's pretty much all the sanding of the. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna hand sand it, and then I do go back and use a cheat wheel, a star wheel, and um, make sure you're going downstream of the blade. You know you don't want to hang it on the star wheel. But we didn't talk about bending them. I'll quickly uh, bend one. I got all the shapes cut, dropped them in here for about 20 minutes. These are actually been in all morning, but um, they are hot. The thicker the wood, the more it'll burn you. And if you want a left ear or right ear, depending on which way you want it to, to shape, just make sure it's all the way to the end of the form, lined up in the center. And it's, it's amazing you can make that that won't bend into one of those. Now I already have one bent uh, from this morning, so I'm going to use the same clamp and double that up. And it'll bend and do what you want. Pass that around if you like. And you'll feel the one, the, the drier one there is, is probably really cold compared to the one I just took out. It's gassing off. It's, it's um, condensation coming out of it. But it's amazing what, th I mean, this will not bend until you realign the molecules. Get everything hot, then you can realign it, and it's, it's like leather. It's pretty limber then. I'm surprised that you don't have to wear some kind of gloves when you pull that out of the boiling water. It, it's just, it's hot, but you just kind of get used to it. If you're making a lot of Christmas presents, you need to have a lot of jigs. Um, the more the merrier. You can never have too many jigs. Just have a jig making day. I got the hinges at Home Depot. Um, the pine, you can buy four by fours and plane it down. Uh, this is two and a half wide. You're welcome to trace any of these and you build your own if you like. Um, the hinges are, I think it's a pair for two dollars and something at Home Depot. It's an inch and a half strap hinge. And get the one where the pin stays in there all the time. They have some that pins are removable. Those are a hassle. And they will remove and you'll find them in your box somewhere. But have you ever got a pizza panel? What is that? Pizza panel? Have you ever tried something no. like that? No, but I'm, I've, I've been about anything. So. What's that radius, roughly? Uh, so I eyeballed it and my first ones weren't enough. I had too much spring back. It just didn't have enough. It just wasn't as pretty when you got it done. So I, um, I, re I redid some, some jigs and made them with a heavier sweep. Um, Did you say you'll keep them in those jigs? Two days, yeah. What jigs do you prefer to make I like cherry and maple. Um, they bend well. They, they, uh, they hold their shape. They're, they're also not... Some woods are, are porous. Somebody said, well, a coca bola one would be good. You could probably make it happen with coca bola, but you know, some people are allergic to coca bola. Um, <laughs> you, know, it's, you know, it's a good way to make somebody sick. But um, the, the walnut, the cherry, and the maple do well. Those are nice. I've got a bird's eye one over here I was going to cut out and bend. 
Um, the bird's eyes are little knots, and little uh, infant knots, and you can feel, it. I mean, even though it's been sanded, they, they change, they expand and contract differently. This was sanded smooth and you pass it around. So that's going to be a little bit of a unique tool, but it's, it's nice. It's pretty cool looking, you know. How long are you keeping them in water and steam? Um, in, I'd say 30 minutes to start. Get, you know, get them, you know, get them, get them for 30 minutes and um, that should, that should be okay. These are, this is a flip I'm doing. What do you mean a flip? Um, it's a elongated spatula that you just get in and want to flip something. It'll have that heavy curve to it. But it's the same curvature as the other one? Same curve, yeah. Okay. It's pretty steep. I mean, it's, you know, this is, this is what it came from. and Pretty steep little curve. They're longer, though, so you can get in and just if you want to flip small sausage patties or something like that. Pardon me? Forks. Like I've made some salad forks. Actually, I had um, gave that to our controller at work. I had instead of instead of making with a long paddle, you make it just flat on the end, and then you cut your forks in one and leave one that does not have forks, and that's your salad tossers. And that's a pretty aggressive bin for those. I like I like a less of a bin for those because you know it's. That's pretty aggressive putting two of these together. This is, yeah. I have um, the 110 volt burners, uh, Sunbeam Bunsen, some of those guys. They're pretty good. You just, n n nobody ever has enough power. But these are, you know, if you can imagine, that's pretty aggressive for salad tossers. So the, the one that's maple out there that has less of a bend, that's about the right style. When you, when you make your molds, it has to be a little more bent. Is it, going to, is it, going to relax it is going to relax, yeah. And this, the walnut, this one, this one was very stiff, and I know I had it in there just as long. That one was a kind of a tight bend. I know it's going to have a lot of spring back. Any more of these guys I got? That's hot. And if you want some different, you know, unique styles, I mean, you can put it at an angle, different stuff like that, you know. Uh, and this is where we did a double bin. We just took the, um, that double bin walnut when I passed around, we took and um, clamped another clamp up here, reversed it. That's okay. I'm not sure that's going to be a big seller, but that walnut there is very, very stiff. That one is just... I don't think that one's going to stay. Where, where did you say your market is? Anybody that has fifteen dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, getting a lot of these up here, aren't we? Got one more. This is a jig that one of my first jigs, and I like the sweep that I had on it because it's pretty aggressive. But you know, it's just that's all the piece of wood that I had. Um, and I like pine, basswood makes a good one. We did, recently did, Robert did one that was, um, it was like a, it's a pallet runner. It was a nice three by three, but it was a tropical something. It was like mahogany, but wasn't. And um, we put those guys in there, and in, in two days they still weren't dry. Took them off, and it, you know, it just didn't allow the, uh, the escaping of the wood. And it was a very porous, open structured wood, but it didn't allow, so I'd stick with pine and basswood. But anyway, I had to put a block on top of that one. It's a funny looking one, but um, still works, still makes a very, and this one actually has a knot in it, so it was just a scrap piece of wood and I, I needed a jig, so. Not, not really, this, and, and it's on the very tip of the blade and it's, it's easy to sand off and control if it were, but um, actually you see where I had a screw run through on this one as well. I just, I did have to sand that, that would transfer. And I've got... that you said that it, it will transfer the image on it. Especially the face, yeah. If it's not nice and smooth, the face will transfer. So if, if on the part that's on your left hand side there, if you cut grooves down the length of it or something and put a piece of there mold together, it would come out with grooves? Yeah, it would. That's pretty unique. Yeah, I like that. Or some kind of pattern or something? Yeah, yeah, if you, yeah, if you cut grooves in here, that that's pretty good. Cut it just on one side, um, that way, you know, all the... If you cut it just on one side, say on the top side, 
Yeah, that would work. Uh, that would be actually pretty neat. Um, and clamp the crap out of it, I would say. You know, like really clamp it hard. It might actually dry faster if you had grooves on it. Yeah, and I think they're going to show. Um, well, if you put them if you put them on the front side, it's going to have some contour in there. You know, you just added some detail to your to your special. I try I try some just to, you know it wouldn't have to be you know just an eighth of an inch or whatever. I mean, cut an eighth of an inch groove and then really clamp the crap out of it, get it really real hot, clamp it, and it's obviously going to try to the wood fiber will escape to the least resistance. So you'll have these little undulations on top. That actually might be pretty good. I will send you my address for my commission check. Okay. <laughs> I may make some of those before sundown. Yeah. They, they would be $30 instead of they, they would have to be more, yeah. Those doubles, because um, you're tying up two jigs, you'd have to get more for that double sweep. Ooh, that's a nice hot one there now. Did you say the basswood would only be for the jig? Yes, ma'am, for the jig. For the yeah, basswood doesn't bend real well. Yeah. 